folks, Allison here. Welcome to Field Notes Friday. Uh, today we're going to be talking about a pretty common sight uh, this time of year that happens uh, in a fairly common plant. So let's get to it. Today uh, we're going to talk about goldenrod um, and specifically we're going to be talking about these bumps in goldenrod stems. Um, so these are, uh, these swellings are goldenrod galls and they are produced by the goldenrod gall fly. Um, and that is a fly that completes its entire life cycle um, on goldenrod plants. And in, goldenrod is pretty ubiquitous across the United States and um, North America. And um, so what, what is happening here is that the female fly is um, coming to goldenrod plants and it's choosing particular stems um, by <laughs> tasting them and using chemical sensors in their feet and their antenna to um, determine a healthy, good goldenrod plant. And um, in the spring, the female will lay their eggs in the goldenrod stems. And as those eggs hatch, the larvae, which are very small and white, will feed on the inside of the stem. And actually, their saliva uh, mimics plant hormones. So um, as they're eating the insides of the stems, uh, they are causing the stems to grow, and that's what actually um, causes the abnormal gall. You know, you can see these other goldenrods have very straight stems, and then, boom, there's a gall right there. Um, so the larvae uh, eat a chamber inside of the gall, and I want to I wanna show that to you. I wanted to show you the, um, the inside of one of these galls, so I opened this one up, I don't actually see a larva inside of this. I found this on the ground, so maybe it has been vacated. Um, but this is the chamber that the um, larva creates. It uh, does this by eating a space around itself for it to live in. Um, and this is what the inside of the gall looks like. So it, it's this sort of like, it's like a wet, spongy material on the inside that is the food for the larva. Um, I also have some other galls here to show you. So the larva, um, when it gets close to winter time, the larva will dig with its mouth a tunnel from the center where it's been living to just below the surface of the gall. And that is basically its escape route in the spring because over the winter, the larva is going to basically hibernate um, inside of the gall and when it gets close to spring it will turn into the fly and the fly has no mouth parts so in order to get out of the gall the fly crawls up the tube to the just out just inside of the gall and then will use this um, organ between its eyes that it can inflate like a balloon to push open the uh, the skin of the gall and it emerges um, as a fly and then goes on to replicate that life cycle again going uh, mating and laying its eggs. So that is a very brief explanation of, uh, of the gall fly life cycle and what these kind of cool interesting bits of goldenrod stem really are. Alright, thanks for listening folks.